hope you're all really well and um, welcome to my channel and this is day one of week one of intermittent fasting yes I'm fasting I never thought that I'd be able to do this so my fasting actually started uh, last night at six o'clock I stopped eating um, and I've given myself a window uh, so I'll show I will show you what I'm going to eat and calories and all of that that'll be sort of in in the video and in the description as well I'll put everything so being new I'm not quite sure what I'm doing at the moment so just bear that in mind <laughs> I've done a lot of reading and research I've watched a lot of videos and previously I would never have considered fasting and it's because I, I just I hate being hungry I I can't do without food. I love my food. So I made up a drink, acid, uh, acid, apple cider vinegar cocktail. If you haven't seen that video, again, I'll put the link in. You must go see that because that's a massive part of this week. What I found throughout the week um, was that it suppressed my appetite. It helped me go longer and eat smaller portions of food. And it's only for that reason that I thought, well, why don't I try fasting then? Let me give that a go, intermittent fasting. You hear it so much. And it's not just about weight loss. There are a lot of health benefits to it. The science is mind boggling. Um, and there's not enough research on it so far for me to really talk about it. So there is um, a YouTuber called Zoe. Well, it's actually a company, I think, called Zoe on YouTube. And they do a lot of videos on nutrition and um, do podcasts and all sorts. And there was one on intermittent fasting, which I watched. And that made it quite straightforward. Um, so there was a lady on there who had lost an awful lot of weight from intermittent fasting. Basically, you have a window where you don't eat. And then you have a window where you do eat. And there's so many different programs. There's one called 5-2, where you eat for five days and then you have two days of fasting. There's no way I could do that. Absolutely not. I'd feel ill. I know I would. So my um, method is uh, what's recommended, particularly to start with, is to do 18 to 19 hours fasting and then um, have a window of eating. So I'm going to, um, I stopped at six o'clock uh, last night. I'm aiming to sort of have, have some food at around about one-ish, um, she says. <laughs> uh, I've got a really busy day. So I'm not really prepared well for this in my food prep. So I'm just sort of going to throw the food together. Now, it does, they do suggest that intermittent fasting is so much better when you um, are going low carb. And I'm not keen on low carb. So another video that I watched, this lady who'd lost this weight, she didn't do any kind of diet. She just had these windows where she didn't eat and she did eat and it worked for her. So I'm going to do that this week. That's what I'm following. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, I did make a mistake. <laughs> First thing this morning. Um, I got up and made my coffee with milk. <laughs> and of course, milk... Ugh. It should have been a black coffee. I'll get used to it. Um, and I also realised that when they talk about eating food, they mean calories and, and fuel. Wine <laughs> on a night uh, after six o'clock is no, no longer an option. <laughs> so uh, let's see how I get on with that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have um, a nice big glass of wine with my last meal, which is the... Uh, just before six o'clock and then my cutoff point. So I'm gonna do a sort of like a little diary each day to say how I'm doing. Um, and I'm not changing anything else. I'm not gonna do low carb and I'm not going to do any mad exercise. I'm just gonna do my normal walk that I norm normally do. And just do this close off and opening up of eating hours, eating windows. I had a look at it and I was thinking two meals then. Basically, I'm skipping breakfast. I'm going into the afternoon without anything to eat. 
But it's not just that. I did, I stopped eating. Normally I would have a snack or I'd have a bit of supper. So I've, I've cut that out. So actually it does end up being quite a big window. Now one of the, um, the doctors who uh, does a lot of uh, research in this, Tim Spector, I think his name is. You can look him up, up on YouTube. And he said that part of intermittent fasting, how it works, it can be just down to that you've reduced your calories. But you, you know, you're in calorie deficit because you simply can't get the amount of food that you normally eat into that. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> I'll have an apple cider vinegar drink in a minute. Um, yeah, where was I? Yeah, so you're just squeezing in all your normal calories into a small window and some people can't do that. Um, yeah, so I, I get that, but I do like big portions, so I might be okay. The other part of intermittent fasting is the really scientific bit where because you're going a long time without food, you go into ketosis. This is why they say that it's better to do it with low carb because if you've had a high carb the following day, you might still have um, fuel carbs there for your body to use up and so you don't enter ketosis. Um, but there's varying different arguments on that. However it works, I just want to give it a go. So I'm going to do it my way this week, the same as the lady did. Uh, it was an American lady <clears throat> on this podcast. Uh, if, I, if I can find the link, I'll actually, I will, I'll copy you in, um, in the, again, in the description so you can have a watch of that. It's about, about uh, 40, 50 minutes long. But it's in chapters, so you can skip bits. <clears throat> and then, depending on how much weight I lose, <clears throat> excuse me, I will then maybe continue with it for another week or try the low-carb ver uh, version. I don't want to go into full-on strict carbs because I've done keto before and I hated it and it didn't work and it's not sustainable for me. I like my potatoes <laughs> um, and I like rice and I like pasta but though I know those are the big no-nos and this certainly if I did do low carb I wouldn't give up things like carrots and swede and you know really good vegetables that are, are good for me and I won't give up onions either so I know that there's a lot of foods out there fruit that you're not supposed to have on low carb which is ridiculous because there's so much goodness in all of that well, let's see how it goes. If you, you know, you want to follow me, um, I'll be back with um, with my lunch and I am going to count the calories. I do want to see if it is going to be a, a, a case of calorie deficit, lower calories throughout the day. Um, and I've also got some keto sticks, little wee wee sticks. <laughs> so um, I can tell you if I have gone into, into ketosis. So we'll see um, what happens, how the week unfolds. Stay with me, watch to the end, and if you can follow me throughout the week, that'd be fantastic. I'll give you the full results at the end of the week. Thank you very much. See you soon. Be back soon. Bye. And here it is, is my, my lunch today, my dinner. Uh, I'm having Slimming World Teriyaki Salmon. I'm having two servings, so that is tells you on the back there it serves for all of this I don't know why you would ever split one of your salmon fillets with somebody <laughs> but anyway that's um I'm having one salmon fillet which according to this is two servings um I'm having I'm being lazy I've been so busy I've got so much on so just some steamed veg um, I'm having one sachet of steamed veg and microwave and then I've got pre-prepared veg that I always have in my freezer which helps me to stay, stay healthy 100 grams of cabbage 100 grams of cauliflower and 200 grams of carrots these are all being blanched so I'm literally just gonna um, stick them in a pan of boiling water and get them boiled so this takes how long does this take? 45 minutes. Oh, I'm going to have to get better at this because I'm starving. It's one o'clock. 
So this really is um, going to be the, a proper first fast. <laughs> right, I'm going to get that in the oven and, um, and I'm going to nosh it. <laughs> Tick tock, <laughs> I'm starving. Salmon's done, I'm just waiting for the veg and then I'm gonna sit down and eat. Oh. <laughs> right, we're nearly there. <clears throat> I don't like, um, I don't like soggy veg. So I like it quite crunchy so you can still taste it. So we're, we're nearly there, it didn't take long. I know there looks like there's a lot of vegetables there, but just bear in mind, I've not had any breakfast. I've been fasting for 19 hours. Um, and I've still got to get my calorie intake in for the day. So this is my main meal, which is nearly two o'clock. So the leftover salmon, um, obviously I'm gonna have that for my evening meal. Again, is classed as two servings. So that was Slimming Wells. I got this at Iceland. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's classed as two servings, which is, I think, ridiculous. But that's part of my problem is <laughs> portion control and the amount that I eat and lots of. Veg. This is the veg that I have pre-prepared, was in my freezer and um, I've blanched. Great time for my washing machine to come on. <laughs> Awful lot there, but I'm starving. And here's my microwave veg, that's steam fresh, the easy stuff. <clears throat> which has a bit of broccoli and corn in as well. I know there's a lot of carrots there and if you're thinking that's a lot of carbs, I don't really care. Um, I'm not doing low carb this week. I probably will think about that maybe next week and see how intermittent fasting really does work with low carb. But let's just see if it works without. Now I'm going to do something a little bit naughty. Well actually it's not a bit naughty. I'm still counting the calories is literally just a small grating of parmesan on the veg and it'll just melt into them because there's no gravy. It's probably less than five grams of parmesan on there. And it's just because it's a strong cheese, it makes all the difference. It makes the veg really tasty. So, I'll do the calorie count fat, protein, carbs, that'll all come up. I'll do it in the description as well. Uh, but overall, this is, at the moment, without the Parmesan, 603 calories. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna eat it now because I'm really hungry. So enough talking and more eating. <laughs> Final meal, tea time, it's six o'clock. This is gonna be my last food or fuel for the day. A sweet potato, leftover salmon from lunch, bit of salad, and the calorie count is appalling. So I'm adding in um, a cup of soup on the side with a slice of seeded bread. Otherwise, I'm just not getting anywhere near the calories what I should be doing. Okay, so this is my tea. Okay, I don't know why my camera dies on me sometimes, but it just did after that. So <laughs> uh, just to finish this off really this day, my window's now closed. Um, so I'm starting my, my first, um, well, I started my first fasting last night. So this is my next um, fasting period. Uh, so that last meal was um, 827 calories. So in total I had 1,430 calories 
um, which doesn't seem much. The, the, the last meal seemed a bit light um, and I'm a little worried that I'm going to get hungry later on, but see how I feel. As I mentioned in the description, I will put everything down the calories, the um, carbs, protein, fat, just for interest really. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow for day two of intermittent, intermittent fasting. Thank you for watching. See you soon.